Hello. So, in our last episode, we built this website totally from scratch, or I should say this web page. Before we continue with the site, we're going to set up the FTP. Now, FTP is a very, very important part of how things work and how things are set up. So, in our very first class, very first tutorial here, we set up the FTP. I'm sorry, we set up the site root by going to site, new site. Okay, so I just want to share a concept with you. So the site was already set up. So if you want to set a site up from scratch, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to say site, new site. Okay, we're going to put or site. So this is basically kind of repeat what we did in the first class, but we're going to do FTP as well. So I have something to call our new site. Now, Dreamweaver needs to know where that site is kept. So we're going to click right here. We're going to go inside our website folder. Website folder is on the desktop. Inside the desktop is websites. So we're going to create a new folder with the same name and call our new site. Now, of course, you would give it the name of your domain name. What I typically do is I give it the domain name minus the dot com because it's not a good idea to put dot extensions on your desktop. Okay, so again, let's review this, whatever we call this. So in this particular case, our new sites, we're going to make a folder on our new site. Okay, so Dreamweaver needs to know that that's your root folder. That's the root folder that we're going to FTP up to the server. So we're going to click choose. Okay, next step is you have to get this information from your hosting company. The hosting company will supply you with the uh, FTP information, using them in password, whether it's GoDaddy or register.com or Bluehost. So we're going to select servers. Based on these choices, we're going to get the plus symbol. Now, important step here. This interface in CS5 and CS5.5 is slightly different, but the concept's the same. The concept's the same for CS3 and CS4. It's just that it's different. It's visually different, but it's basically the same concept. So we're going to put in the same name of the site. So our site. Okay. So then you put the FTP information. The FTP address is OurSite.com. Again, this is generic information, guys. You put in your specific information. Then you put the username. Then you put in your password. Okay. Now, if this is correct, you should be able to hit test, and it's going to say successfully connected to the testing server, to the server, rather. If, that's, if it's not correct, that means you didn't enter the correct information here. So again, of course, this is network information. Host directory is typically either public underscore HTML or www forward slash. Now, important step here. Watch what happens. Watch what happens when I have the tab key now. Truthweaver assumes that this is my www folder for my root directory, which is true, but it puts it down here. It doesn't belong here. I'm going to cut it from here. Command X. It should go right here. So just like a web address, it should say http colon forward slash forward slash www dot. So if this is correct, I hit save. Now, before we move forward, the most important thing here is to set up the testing server as well. I'm going to click right here. In this particular case, my testing server is going to be the same as my mode server. Testing server, make sure you have this clicked. Okay. So now, if I go to my file directory, if this window is closed, window files, it's closed, windows files, it's open. This is my file directory. Okay. Now, for those of you that have made comments about my voice, I've explained this before a few times. I have a spasticity in my vocal cords. I have the same issue as Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has. So there's no cure, but there's basically treatment. So uh, some days my voice sounds better than others. I try to speak slowly and as clear as possible, but it's uh, it's not a magic cure. So bear with me. I'll get you through this. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. I'm here to help you. So we'll actually have TP up to the server and publish the pages in our next video. So stay tuned.